U.S. Virgin Islands, which are St. Croix, St. Thomas, and St. John, are at the meeting point of the Caribbean Sea and Atlantic Ocean, east of Puerto Rico. The capital of the Virgin Islands is Charlotte Amalie, located on St. Thomas. Its current population, according to the census in 2010, is 109,750. Before the United States bought the Virgin Islands, they were held by many European powers, which included Denmark-Norway. Denmark-Norway established a Danish West Indian company that settled on St. Thomas in 1672, on St. John in 1694. Then they purchased St. Croix from France in 1733. They then became a royal Danish colony in 1754 and were named the Danish West Indian Islands. During the Civil War period, the U.S. became interested in the islands. In 1870, the U.S. Senate refused to approve the purchase of the two islands, St. Thomas and St. John, for $7.5 million. So the U.S. moved to control the main passage through the Caribbean to the Panama Canal, as well as routes along the eastern coast of the American continent. Denmark at the time was willing to sell the islands to avoid the jeopardy of seizure by the Allies, but it was not agreed on. After 30 years, to prevent the Virgin Islands from becoming a German submarine base, the United States bought the Virgin Islands on January 17, 1917, for $25 million. The Treaty of Session promised U.S. citizenship to the inhabitants, except for those who choose to retain their Danish citizenship. The United States Virgin Islands are an organized, unincorporated territory. They are organized because they were given a measure of self-rule by Congress through the Revised Organic Act of 1954. This act replaced the Organic Act of 1936, which was basically a reiteration of the Danish law that was in effect at the transfer of the Virgin Islands from Denmark. The Virgin Islands are unincorporated territory because they are controlled by the United States government, but are not a part of the United States proper. The islanders are not allowed to vote in presidential elections. However, they do have a voice. Congresswoman Donna Christensen is the delegate for the Virgin Islands. Though she cannot participate in floor votes, part of her role as Congresswoman is to represent the ideas of the people of the Virgin Islands, introduce bills and amendments that will be beneficial to them, and also to make sure that they receive their fair share of federal funding. On a territorial level, they have 15 senators, 7 from St. Croix, 7 from St. Thomas, and 1 overall senator from St. John. They have one elected governor, who is Governor John P. DeYoung, Jr. Future Prospects in Economy The American way of life prevails today in the U.S. Virgin Islands. The region's traditional recipes and remedies, as well as the self-reliant arts of fishing, boat building, farming, and even hunting, are all but gone. The island's economy is mostly based on tourism because of the island's natural beauty. Local governments are struggling to balance the preservation of the island's number one resource, scenic beauty, with modern economic realities. After decades of neglecting their surroundings, Islanders have awakened to the fact that what they have to sell to the tourist market, their natural resources. Future prospects for statehood. Some Islanders are beginning to demand more representation. They feel that only full statehood will provide the respect, power, and influence needed to turn the islands into more than just a colony. The question of statehood is raised at each new election of Congress or of a president, but hardly makes any progress. The residents have been given the choice of independence, status quo, or statehood. However, these measures have failed to attract sufficient civic interest so the islands will stay at their current territorial status for the foreseeable future.